to PhD or not to PhD, coming right up. Hey there, welcome to Chem and Weekly. It is often the case that undergraduate and postgraduate students coming up to their graduation consider their next steps. And one of the things that they come up with in their thinking is, should you do a PhD? But what exactly is a PhD? To answer this and more frequently asked questions about PhDs, we got in touch with Andrew from Math Equals Music, who currently is doing his PhD in chemical engineering. He very generously gave up his time to work with us on this video, so therefore ensure that you watch until the end to get all the information about PhDs in chemical engineering. And also do check out Math Equals Music, the link is in the description, as well as the iCard now. And without much further ado, I'd like to thank Andrew for taking the time out to work with us on this project and invite him to introduce himself to you. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Andrew and I am a fifth year graduate student pursuing a PhD in chemical and environmental engineering. I'm the creator for Math Equals Music and today I'm excited to participate in this collaboration. I'll be answering some questions about what it's like to pursue a PhD in chemical and environmental engineering. Perfect, let's jump right into the questions now. What is a PhD in chemical engineering and what does one do in a PhD? A PhD is the highest level of academic qualification one can achieve. During a chemical engineering PhD, you will pursue advanced topics such as thermodynamics, kinetics, and transport phenomena. The main focus of the PhD is to conduct research. You may spend most of your time in the lab conducting experiments, collecting data, and analyzing the results. Research topics in chemical engineering include sustainable energy, batteries and sensors, biotechnology and nanotechnology, wastewater treatment and air pollution mitigation, process systems, and many more. When can one take a PhD? The minimum requirements for a PhD are to complete your bachelor's degree. It's also quite common to earn a master's degree or gain some research experience in the industry. There are many things to consider before applying to a PhD program. These include the technical aspects such as what type of research you will conduct and whose lab you will join. There are other important aspects you should consider as well, such as location and funding. Will you get paid to conduct research or will you be responsible for your own funding? Another important aspect you should consider is the lab environment. Try to meet other members from the lab and see if you'll fit in with the lab culture. What are the perks of doing a PhD? You get paid to do research. Your sole job is to be a sponge and collect all the information for your degree and try to become an expert in your field. You will learn perhaps more than you ever have and develop a set of unique skills that can be directly applied to the industry. Are there any drawbacks of doing a PhD? A PhD can be very stressful and there's lots of competition. There's this notion of publish or perish. How does the job market view a PhD compared to a bachelor's or a master's? Engineers typically have terrific job outlook, even with a bachelor's degree. However, acquiring a PhD will set you at an advantage. You'll likely be paid higher than someone without a PhD. Common career options for a PhD include working for a company in the research and development sector or pursuing a tenure track in the academy. What's your PhD and what do you do in it? My PhD is in the field of wastewater treatment photochemical and photocatalytic denitrification. I use advanced technologies such as ultraviolet reduction processes and photocatalysis to treat nitrates in wastewater systems. I investigate the photochemical reaction mechanisms that govern nitrate reduction and try to engineer these systems for optimal removal. My goal is to develop a reduction process that can be utilized by industry and implemented at the large scale to treat wastewaters. What made you decide to do a PhD? As I progressed through my bachelor's degree, I realized I developed a passion for chemical engineering. I gained laboratory experience by doing undergraduate research, and I became fascinated by the idea of using chemical technology for environmental remediation. What is your favorite part of your PhD? My favorite aspect of a PhD is how incredibly interdisciplinary research can be, especially within the fields of engineering. Engineering is related to many different aspects of science, including chemistry, physics, mathematics, biology, and medicine. The research process is long and enduring, but it can be really fun too. You get to develop a hypothesis, design an experiment, and validate the results. As nerdy as it sounds, I love being able to just be a nerd and absorb all things math, science, and engineering. And how long is a PhD usually? A PhD is typically five to seven years. That's great. Thank you for taking the time out to work with us on this project, Andrew. It truly means a lot. You're welcome, and thank you for this collaboration. I look forward to more projects like this in the future. 
Do ensure that you like and subscribe to Math Equals Music. Once again, the link is in the description below as well as the iCard. So do check it out for more great chemical engineering content. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to like it if you enjoyed it and leave your comments and suggestions down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels and if you click on the on-screen cards now you can watch another one of our videos. Click on the centre card to subscribe and don't forget to share this video if you found it useful. Further information can be found in the description and thank you very much.